Hey guys, thanks for checking out the podcast. Before we get started, I want to remind you about the very cool bucket list trip I am doing in 2026, the Smitty Learns Irish podcast, where I'm going to do my bucket list, hike Ireland for a year, learn about Irish history, town by town, through the mouths of the pub owners and regulars. Because what's a better way to learn about something you love than to experience it yourself? Patreon.com forward slash we the number three Smiths, only three bucks a month, and thanks for checking it out. to the Smith Hole. My name is Smitty from the What the Hell Everything podcast, and it is the very first uh, Smith Hole Cinema movie and TV show reaction. Uh, I am really stoked. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've had my hands in uh, uh, music reaction videos and podcasting for a long time and really wanted to bring movie and TV shows to the channel, man. So uh, if you're watching, Bless your heart. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I don't, uh, d I watch a lot of other movie reaction videos. And just to put this out there, uh, you will always get a genuine reaction. You will, uh, uh, I'm not saying I won't watch movies that I haven't watched before. If it gets to that point on the channel where people want to see your reactions to movies you love. Uh, but you're always going to get a genuine reaction. You're always going to get an uncensored genuine reaction. And I, uh, uh, again, this is the first TV show I'm watching for the channel. And it's going to be The Last of Us, which uh, I know has Pedro Pascal uh, from The Mandalorian and Game of Thrones. And then, what is this girl's name? Uh, Bella Ramsey, also from Game of Thrones, who uh, stuck that giant in the eye. It was a great moment. <laughs> that was a great moment. Uh, we're going to give it a go here, guys. This is my very first TV show reaction. Now, here's the block I got to get through mentally to do this, which I thought I would have with the rock music too, but I uh, don't. I don't have a problem talking whatsoever. But I'm one of those people, I hate talking during a movie uh, or a TV show or while listening to music, you know, uh, especially on a first listen. But uh, I really feel like because I love watching movie and TV show reactions, uh, that I think we can make this fun. So we're going to watch The Last of Us. I know it's a post-apocalyptic movie, uh, and I know it's based off of a video game. Episode 1, When You're Lost in the Darkness. There's something about that HBO open that always just makes me and get psyched up for a movie. Yeah, it's any kind of virus, but most probably something similar to influenza. Pose a threat. Oh, in the most dire terms. I know that guy from somewhere. Bacteria. No. Yes, that's the usual response. I thought this was about Fungi mushrooms. Somehow not Many those species mushrooms. Know otherwise. Maybe they are. Because there are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control by preventing decomposition. How? Where Zombies. Where penicillin from? Fungus. I like all of these scenarios. <laughs> We lose. It's a cheery thought. <laughs> and I did hear that it was about like mushrooms. Uh, how that's gonna is it a zombie movie? I didn't know what necessarily was. I did uh, know that mushrooms cause some sort of apocalypse. What's that movie with Marky Mark Wahlberg? The uh, uh, the M. Night Shyamalan movie? Where the trees fucking killed everybody? A lot of people hated that fucking movie. But I like that scenario where this is the plants are like, fuck these people, kill them. I'm really going to have to do my best to try to remember characters' names. It's not something I'm typically great at, remembering names. Where's the pancake mix? I'm oh, glad uh, I have uh, captions. Yeah, it was. Yeah. These brothers. I'll bring back a cake. Jakarta. Indonesia. Yeah, Middle East. Ring a bell. Wait, Indonesia? Is that a country? In fact, it's capital of Indonesia. I like zombie and horror movies, but I do I get fucking jump scared really easy. Uh, and I'm just waiting. Somebody's gonna make fun of me at some point. We got a lot of extra here. Y'all y'all want uh, some yeah. Dad. I do. But I'm on Atkins. <laughs> I like the coughing in quotation marks, just to let you know. <laughs> it wasn't an accident we put that in there. Oh okay. boy. I swear. I know. I know we're getting into some intense moments, but was that girl shoplifting, taking that watch to the pawn shop? Uh, was she thinking about stealing that knife? That's Sarah, by the way. I had to tell myself. 
People out there need to get right with <laughs> Jesus. Three nails. I'm most worried about that little girl right now. Uh, really, right now, because that's kind of terrifying. Uh, just from like a kid's perspective, or maybe my me as a kid perspective. Like, they, I haven't seen this girl in the credits too much, and they're really focusing on her. What is going on? What are you doing? Oh, no. Like, if this girl dies, it's really going to bum me out. Oh, no. Uh, no, turn around. Could I borrow that? You know what? My dad's going to be back real soon. There's a chance that that woman sure? is yeah. having well, some sort some of episode time. other than the virus, the mushroom virus or whatever. There's a good chance she is. Uh, which door is it? I feel some real dread in my uh, stomach <laughs> right now. <laughs> You locked the door for once. Good job. Yeah, because shit's going down, Dad. I like their dynamic, I'm not going to lie. I think it's a nice... Uh... Wow. There's no shoplifter. What the fuck was mm -hmm. I thinking? What? I don't hear anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's 2003. They still had DVDs. Don't fall asleep. Of course I won't. I don't feel great about this girl surviving past this episode. Uh, God damn it. Sure, Tommy. You gotta bail me out. Now? It's yeah, now, it's motherfucker! Dude, is he never gonna see his daughter again? Oh, boy. That can't be true. I mean... Some terrible foreshadowing going on. What time is it? Two? Man, yeah, when that fucking happens. <laughs> Can you even trust dogs? <laughs> Man, don't go in there. Man, you talk about going south quick. Mrs. Adler? Yeah, girl, you're only thirty. What the fuck? Who is that? Oh no. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Nana. Uh. Mm -mm. Man, that's fucking grudge shit. I don't like that. Uh. What are we doing, Joe? Uh. Yeah, are you glad that you bailed me out now? Yeah, just shit going wrong everywhere. Are they aware of the Six, legends seven, of seven, zombies? Are they aware that zombies are a thing in pop culture, at least in this uh, thing? Or are they trying to figure out what to call them? Got a kid, Joe. So do we. Keep driving. Man, do you know how many times watching Walking Dead and Dawn of the Dead and all that shit? I'm like, would I be that guy to help people? Or would I be like, sorry about your luck? That's why navigation skills are uh, key. <laughs> Maybe it's everywhere. Oh, is that thing going to go down? Oh, they're all going down. Man, they do such a good job of just making it look like chaos without really focusing on anything. The camera work in a lot of the earlier shots that weren't action shots were similar, where it's hard to focus on any one thing. You know, that it's my shitty eyesight. Are you serious? Ah. And how was your Sunday? You okay? I don't yeah. like the way her leg looks. All right, her leg is, doesn't look as bad as I thought it did. Okay. He couldn't go around that else. fucking cop car, or is it just blocked into the alley? I don't know why you had to leave him. 
And I fucking hate zombies that run, too. Man, they run so fast, too! Don't move! I do like how the zombies tend to be way more frantic in this and way more confused. There's less, I mean, it's very. I got two civilians by the river, one of them injured. Very much like blinders on, tunnel vision, just want to fucking kill, right? First, don't go back for him, okay? Okay. They're also very more confused, it feels like. It was a nice time for your brother to show up. We're not sick. We are not sick! They fucking shoot her. They stole. They stole. Fuck yeah, bro. Uh. You're gonna be okay. Alright. Man, things to tell your child when you know the opposite is true. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. I gotta get you up. Alright, so here we are. I think it's just a weak kid, right? I don't think it's... Doesn't look all zombified. Still got helicopters. So there's still a form of government. Allegedly, maybe? Or people that think they're the government? Get you some new clothes and toys. As many as you want to play with. What are the odds we can trust them? Uh... I don't know what I expected. I definitely expected it to be like way more sparsely populated, probably. But I know we're in a city, so there's going to be more people. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. I'm trying to soak up everything that's like happening. Are they doing hangings in the streets now again? Which always seemed super effective throughout history. It's got to be something other than weed, right? I'm wonder wondering if it's his brother out of the picture now, if he even was his brother, which I think he was. Has pretty much ruined my week. And I'd like to go home and drink till my face stops hurting. Been there. Oh, shit. At least now you can explain the bruises. There's that little badass. Seven, eight, fuck you. With all sorts of snarky. Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! Next. So, Boston to Wyoming. That seems like a trek. In these conditions. I like how it showed that dust. If that was, you know, like, I don't think that that was uh, fungus spores floating through the air or anything, but it could kind of represent them in a way. But I'm usually wrong a lot. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to make bad decisions, it's best to be lubed up when you're doing so. So we know his brother made it, because he's going to go look for him. We're going to find out quietly. Understand? I like it when people make smart decisions uh, on shows like this, you know. Being calculated, being strategic. Down and get our battery and our truck, and then we'll go find Tommy. If you're feeling lost... You tell me to look for the light and I'll break your jaw. Nice talk, thanks. <laughs> She's trying. Bless her heart. What I'm about to tell you cannot be repeated to anyone. No oh, way to cut it. <laughs> yep. This one's done. I'm gonna do it. Is that what happens to fucking people? Do they just totally infected. sprout into fucking mushrooms? Which is kind of rad. Maybe down here is where. And terrifying. Oh no. 
know things. You're the cause of it. You turned my own brother against me. Sorry. I didn't do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking ear on your fucking head, could you please? <laughs> There's a team of fireflies waiting for me. But now I don't have a truck. I don't have a squadron. I don't think I would be that way. fucking I cool I with my ear just getting blown off. And I know what you're both capable of. For better or worse. At least holding it. <laughs> Give us a minute, alright? What the fuck? <laughs> so what's the plan? Yeah, read that book. Learn it. Gotta fuck him up I'm having a girl, a young know. girl around again. That's roughly his daughter's you. age that she was when she died. Oh, well, the radio came on when you were sleeping. What? It'd wake me up before you go go. Gotcha. Eighties means trouble. I really appreciate the uh, lack of like dumb characters in this story. You know. A lot of times a kid in this scenario would be portrayed as like, Duh, you know, why are we doing this or Duh. So I like, I like having good, smart characters. I feel like he's done that before. Holy shit, I'm actually outside. Oh. I take that back. <laughs> Take that back, Buster. Don't move! Uh, hello, remember me? You gotta be Knew that was gonna happen. Didn't necessarily know that was gonna happen. No! I'm not sick! No! I'm not sick! No! Look! She's probably move. got some kind of antibody in her, move, right? Joe. That's why they need to get her to wherever. Or they've developed a cure. Edie's are trouble, right? I always love, like, seeing different depictions of, like, uh, post-apocalyptic worlds and the more they can make it look like uh, uh, Life After People, that series the fucking better <laughs> uh, Man, that was a great first episode I uh, really enjoyed that Hopefully you enjoyed checking it out with me I'm really going to have to uh, uh, do my best to try to remember character names We got Sarah I can't remember Pedro Pascal's character name uh, I can't remember the other woman's name. I know Marlene. I know <laughs> there's a lot going on in this show. Uh, and uh, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, this is one of those uh, newfangled uh, streaming shows that only come out once a week. So uh, I'm not going to do any official recap. You're watching along with me. Uh, you've watched the show. You know what's going on. But it'll be really inter interesting to see how it plays off uh, in episode two so hey thanks for joining me my very first tv show reaction uh check out another episode movie reactions coming soon uh the belfast or excuse me the belfast belfast and hereditary on tap for movie reactions and uh patreon it's only seven bucks a month to watch the full length movie reactions uh polls movie reaction requests on Patreon, and uh, that's how we're doing this thing, man. But I appreciate you giving me the time of day. Until next time. What the hell? Everything!